Some might say that I'm a loner But I just call it being free I am my heart's only owner Or at least I used to be Cause now a wildfire is raging deep inside And my horn strings are... Hey everyone, I'm Calvin with Southern Country Living and for today's meal, we're going to be making what's called sticky honey chicken. And we're going to be serving it over white rice. I'm going to be using about one pound of chicken breast. And I've got these cut into uh, little chunks. I'm using about a half of an onion that I've got diced up. Uh, I'm using two tablespoons of brown sugar. I'm going to be using a little over a quarter cup of uh, soy sauce about three tablespoons of honey and maybe a teaspoon of garlic and so uh, i think this is going to be a real good meal um, it looks like it's pretty easy to make we're going to start off by browning the chicken and after we brown it then i'm going to put it in the crock pot and let it cook and get real good and tender before we serve it so first thing i'm going to do i've got a little bit of flour here that i put in this uh, bowl and I'm going to take my chicken and put my chicken in here with this flour. And hopefully this won't be too messy. Okay, there's my chicken. One piece jumped out. Okay, we got that. Put the lid on and just shake it up a little bit to coat that chicken lightly. And there was quite a bit of flour in there, so it might coat that chicken heavy. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to put this chicken into our skillet, and I've already got it heated up. It may yet may not be quite hot enough. Let me turn it up just a little bit further. And I don't have very much oil in the skillet. I've just got it uh, lightly oiled because we're just going to brown this chicken. We're not going to completely cook it. Okay, I've got all the chicken in there now. Let me go rinse my hands off real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so while this chicken is starting to brown, I'm going to go ahead and add my onions to it. And like I said, this is about one half of an onion that I've got diced up.
Okay, I've got the chicken turned over one time. Let it start browning on the other side. While that's doing that, okay, I'm going to go ahead and start mixing up the sauce for it. And on the soy sauce, it calls for a quarter cup of soy sauce. But I'm going to put just a little bit more than that so we'll have plenty of sauce. See how much I got in there now. Okay, that's almost a quarter. I'm going to go on up to about a third of a cup. Okay, on the honey, it calls for three tablespoons. So let me go ahead and get some of this honey to come out. I believe this would have been easier to took the cap off and use the spoon guide out. Steer this chicken a little bit real quick. Okay, and then I'm going to add the uh, brown sugar to it. And let me give this a good stir. And I'm going to put in some uh, minced garlic. About one spoonful of this. Okay, I've got that sauce mixed up now. So I'm going to just set it over to the side. I think my chicken is brown enough. You don't want to cook it all the way through. You just want to brown it some. So let me turn this off completely. And I'm going to slide this over out of the way just a little bit. Put the crock pot over here where we can see it. Okay, now I'm going to spray the bottom of the crock pot. And I'm going to transfer the chicken and the onions into the crock pot.
this was uh, just a little over one pound of chicken and it was actually two chicken breasts but they were sort of big so I just cut them in half and then I cut them into uh, little chunks so they're about maybe one each cubes is what they are. We get all these onions in there. Make sure this is mixed up real good. This is a sauce for it. Okay, and I'm going to pour this sauce right on the top of it. Try to cover them all pretty evenly. Okay, don't say anything about steering it up, but I'm going to make sure they're all coated pretty good here before I put the lid on. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put the lid on. And we're going to cook it on high for about two to three hours. And I'll check one piece of the chicken, make sure it's good and tender before uh, we get it out. So let this start cooking. When it gets through cooking, we'll be back with you and we'll serve some up. Monday morning blues, I open my eyes. And I'm greeted by a cute little smile. The world is new with you by my side. Everything is beautiful Tuesday afternoon I'm calling you home Just to hear your voice on the phone I think of you And I'm not alone You are everything
Hey everyone, we're back. We've got our plates ready to do the taste test. And boy, does this chicken smell good. <laughs> it smells great. Mm -hmm. And uh, Marie made us some broccoli, and she made us some rice to go with it. And we also have some of the Mexican cornbread muffins that Marie made uh, yesterday, right Marie? Yeah. Or day before yesterday. But anyway, they're good. So we're going to do a taste test and see how we like this chicken. We end up cooking it in the crock pot for exactly two hours on high. And we did taste uh, one piece of it just to be sure it was good and tender. And it to spill off the bone. Uh, not the bone, but the, <laughs> it just, it was just so tender you could cut it. It just cut fell it apart. Didn't it? Right. Mmm. Yeah. Okay. Mmm. Very good. <laughs> we'll be making this recipe um, over and over again. <laughs> very flavorful. Mm -hmm. I like putting that honey in there. It gives and it a real good very taste. Very few ingredients, too. Mm -hmm. We uh, have it. Don't want to be talking with my mouth full. <laughs> <laughs> We only used two chicken breasts, and uh, and it, but they were sort of big chicken breasts. You know, if you're going to be cooking for a large family, you'd probably want to use more. And but, double everything. Yep, yeah, there's enough here. We can have another meal off of it too, Marie. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be perfect for us. Not very expensive, easy to make, and just so flavorful. I can't believe how good that sauce tastes. I know it. You can also put sesame seeds over the top, mm -hmm. but we don't. We don't always use sesame seeds. No, mm -hmm. we didn't add any extra salt to it, but I know the soy sauce has a little salt to it, don't it, Marie? Yeah, yeah. So, but very delicious. I think we're going to really enjoy this. I hope mm -hmm. y'all enjoyed us doing the video, and uh, Marie, I'll let you close it out. We'll see y'all on our next video. Okay, so y'all do what you love and love what you do. And so, bye. Have a great day.